Okay, you two, the experiment continues. Okay, right now, uh, the local time is 11.37. Um, and uh, again, this is, I made a mistake earlier in, in claiming that it, the system had been running for about three hours, but no, in actuality, it had, it, it, earlier it had been running for two hours. This is the third hour. This is the actual third hour uh, of, the, of the test. Again, we are trying to determine uh, is it worthwhile, really, to tie in a 500-watt grid tie inverter or any, or any type of inverter to a battery bank uh, that has, you know, substantial, uh, you know, wattage capability um, as opposed to tying it to directly to the panels? Again, this is a 24-volt system, 500-watt um, grid tie inverter tied to the battery bank. Uh, now, let's check the numbers uh, again. Right now, looking at the trimetric, again, at the third hour, we're still holding steady at 25.2 volts um, at the battery. Okay, it has gone, the amperage coming out of the battery has decreased as I uh, expected. Uh, right now, we're holding steady at negative 3.9 amps coming out of the battery, feeding the grid tie inverter. Now, it's that low because obviously there's power coming in to the battery bank. Uh, but right now, with the additional items coming out, you know, the accessories, the fans, and this particular inverter, um, this is what the battery bank is, is, this is what the grid tie inverter is pulling out, between 3.9 and 4 amps. Um, let's look at the uh, state of charge. The state of charge is at 92%, okay, 92%, and this is after three hours. Um, now, looking at the wattage, you may be able to see that, you may not be. Right now, it's fluctuating between 471 and, um, well, I guess it's holding steady at 471, 472. Um, it jumps up to, it, it was jumped up to 474 earlier. But between 471 and 473 watts uh, being put back into the house. The temperature of the inverter it's warm, warm to the touch, warm to the touch. With this fan going, you know, it keeps it pretty cool. So it's warm to the touch, so it has not overheated. Um, as you can see, uh, the lights are, you know, going, you know, really fast. I, and again, looking at the numbers, we're still holding steady at 92% state of charge after three hours. 25.2 volts. And yeah, about four amps coming out. Uh, earlier at the two hour mark, it was on uh, four and a half, four and a half amps. And you know, it goes, it's going, as you can see, it is going down. Okay. Now, uh, the temperature uh, in the room is at, uh, you may not be able to see that, it's at uh, just under 80. So it's at 79, actually, 79, 79 degrees. Um, outside temperature is at 55 degrees okay um, uh, correction correction outside temperature is 66 degrees 66 degrees and it is mostly sunny and what I'm doing to check that is um, looking at um, you know just basic weather information here on my uh, cell phone as you can see outside you well it's fuzzy so but outside temperature is 62 66.2 degrees and it's mo and it's mostly sunny uh, again, we are holding steady, holding steady. Um, again, at the three-hour mark, it is, right now it is at 11.41. 3.8 coming out of the battery bank. And then holding steady at 92% uh, state of charge. Okay, all right. Stay tuned, YouTube, as the experiment continues.